I'm turning off some of this best smart I've ever read to talk to you guys. So you better appreciate this shit video because I'm pausing the smart for you. So that doesn't show you guys that I love you. I don't know what will. Hello, welcome to another video today. I'm sweaty and disgusting and honestly repulsed by myself. So it's gonna be great. So I'm doing my a really a magical readathon TBR slash my March no April TBR. March has been going really bad. It's nearly the end of the month and I've read like five things and two have been manga. I don't know how I'm gonna go in April because let's see how many books I need to read for Aurelium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to read seven books for Aurelium. So like I don't even think I'm gonna get up to seven books read this month so like I've got to get things a little bit better for April. If you know what the Aurelium readathon is, I'll link all the information down below, but I feel like everyone here knows about it. It's a magic school. Uh, my character is studying to be a necromancer, and I believe this is the last year of studies. Is that correct? Because you only need to do four years to become like a master of your calling, and I'm pretty sure this is the fourth year it's been going, because I've been doing it since the start, and I always did necromancy. So I believe that this is the last uh, year of this study that my character needs to do. So I'm excited to move on to something else next year. I think I'm gonna make a character do druid. It's like shape-shifting. I don't know if I'll use the same character or make a different one. I do really like my character, but I think that she's ready to now go like raise the dead and kill people. So yes, I have eight subjects, but one, you don't really need to read a book for it. So, so for animal studies, you need to read a book with a yellow title. Now I had Give Me More down for that, but that's what I'm currently reading at the moment that I had to stop reading for you guys. And it's so good, I wanna die. I'm just like, very good <laughs> so good so i'm gonna just go on to the next book because they all have that yellow font i think i'm now up to mercy yes i'm up to mercy now this is book number four it's bad enough being the only female owner of the salacious players club but i'm also the only one without a kink or so i thought imagine my surprise when the kink quiz suggests that i am not so vanilla after all oh so she's a dom but she doesn't know how to be a dom oh and the other guy's too young for her <laughs> It's her friend's son. Oh my gosh. He's a brat. Say no more. I'm here for it. Then for Conjuration, I had to spin a colour wheel and I got yellow. So I had to do yellow title and a yellow book. So I've got here One Piece 8 because that has a lot of yellow on the cover. I'm not up to book 8. I'm up to book 5. But I have 5, 6, 7 and 8. I think coming from the library so I'm hoping that I will get up to volume 8 during April but if not I'll I don't know I'll find something else then I've got demonology and it's a book you did not pay for I've also got one piece down for that <laughs> I'm just reading the ebooks from the library so that works I, I feel like we all know what one piece is it's that really long manga about the pirate <laughs> We all know what it is. And spells and incantations. You had to do a number generator and that's how many letters had to be in the title. I got a seven. So I'm going with the hunt. This has been on every single TBR I've had this year. So hopefully I actually read it this month. It's a series by Frost K of like, I think like dark fantasy romance fairy tale retellings. So this one I think is uh, Alice in Wonderland. So I've been wanting to read this all year for Bay, but also for Bookimon because it's a prompt where you need to read a bunch of retellings. And then we have here inscription three titles and you have to pick one so you like write them down on paper and you pick one i haven't done that one yet i'll see if i get time if not i'll just put here what i ended up getting if you're wondering like because this is a different filming spot my life's been a little bit crazy um my opportunities to film are very limited so i'm, I'm rushing through this because i'm hoping i still get time to finish this video uh but i'm sorry i'm hoping the quality of my videos will get better but at the moment we've got either i'm rushing in this house or i'm in my car so take a pick, both are shit. Then we have Law, which is Legend of Dia. So I just need to reread this like story mythology piece that's part of the world and the law of Aurelium. So I'm going to be just rereading that. Then we have Restoration, which is Cure Slumps. So a book you think would cure slumps. I'm going with The Reckoning. That is the next book that I need to read in uh, Zodiac Academy. I still haven't gotten to the sequel yet. Participating in this read along that we're just doing on my Discord. Um, I don't know if anyone else is even doing it anymore. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't read the second book, which I have read before. I think it's called Ruthless Fay. Um, but I would like to still reread it because I did enjoy that one. But then we're moving on to The Reckoning in April. But whether I'll be actually ready to read that, I don't know. I might have to put something else. Um, I mean, One Piece could kill slumps. And I'm going to be reading One Piece. So I just like One Piece will just be everything I read. <laughs> and then my last course is Shapeshifting. And this one was the worst. I 
hated this one. Uh, all the blurb to the last five star read. So my last five star read was a manga, which like, I don't know, I couldn't find any blurbs for that. And then my other one was Hen Fever, and these are the only two I've had so far this year. And that's like an indie book, and I was like, I can't find any blurbs for this. And then I was going back to like my last five star read, and it was just getting like really complicated, and like I couldn't find anything, because I feel like it's really hard to find them online. I just decided that this would count, whether it does or not, I don't know. I'm going with KJ Charles, because KJ cut because KJ Charles reviewed Hen Fever. <laughs> so I'm like gonna count it, because I'm like, well, they reviewed it, so that's like a blurb. I couldn't find anything. I was like struggling. So I feel like this is the closest I can get. So I'm going to read Band Sinister, which I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's Polly. It's very rarely ever blurbed as Polly. It's mostly just, I think, male male. I want it to be Polly. Like, look at that color. I, I Most of the reviews just say it's male male. And there's not many that are like male male female or something. So we follow a guy who is the disgrace of the country because he's a rake and an atheist. I don't know. He sounds pretty cool to me. Ooh, and there's... Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I saw the word. Oh, jeez, I got excited. It says here, the rumours about his Hellfire Club, the murder, can only be spoken in whispers. <laughs> it's got brackets. Orgies. It's orgies. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I read a lot of smart, but every time I, like, <laughs> read the blurb of them, I always act all giggly like I've never read one before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've read some absolutely depraved smart. Stop acting like, oh my god! I don't have my tripod here, so sorry. As I said, we're working with like literally nothing right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but I was just bagging myself out. And then this guy and his sister live in rural seclusion after a family scandal, but when Amanda breaks her leg in a riding accident, she's forced to recuperate where he's hosting the murder. Uh, he rushes to protect her, but it's not what it's expected. The educated, fascinating people and notorious Sir Philip turns out to be charming, kind, and dangerously attractive. <gasps> in his private space, where anything goes, the longings guy has stifled all his life are impossible to resist, and so is Philip. But all too soon, the rural rumour mill threatens both Guy and Amanda. The innocent country gentleman has lost his heart to the bastard baronet, but does he dare lose his reputation too? But I really love the cover and I'm excited. I think I've read one KJ Tiles and it was just okay, but this one looks more my vibe, so I'm pretty excited. So that's my Aurelium TBR. We just have the um, pick three titles and pull one out. I don't have paper and my pen here. I, I literally have nothing here. So I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Uh, okay, let me pick three books that I would like to read for Babe and I'll give them all a number and I'll do a number generator. I hope that's okay. I don't have paper to put in anything. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at like everything to be honest. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put one as the temporary wife, two as tainted bonds, let's put three as flawless. So these are all books that I want to read for Babe. I'm probably gonna read flawless either way because because there is a read along happening of this series. I'll link the information down below. Okay. Let's go. Can you see? We got two, which was Tainted Bonds, so it wasn't flawless, which is what I wanted. That's like a really crazy, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like a why choose, like, faded maids, demon, angel romance. It's very bizarre. Yeah, I guess I'll be continuing on with that crazy series. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm so happy I got enough time to talk about everything before I had to stop recording because I'm staying at a friend's and so the thought of them coming in while I'm talking to a camera is humiliating. So I was like hoping that they wouldn't get home before I could finish. So yes, I will chat with you all in my next video. Thank you so much for being here. Again, I'm sorry that the quality of my video is going to be a little bit crap uh, at the moment. I'm, as I said, staying with a friend, so it's just like really awkward to uh, film around them. So we'll just see. A lot of my videos are going to be in the car. Uh, the lighting's going to be shit. It's just kind of the reality that I'm living now. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> I mean, my video is always crap, but at least I feel like the quality is kind of okay. But now it's just like, well, there's not even that. So what's the point of being here? <laughs> I don't know. Punishing ourselves. So yeah, um, let me know if you're participating in Aurelium. And let me know what you're going to be reading either way, whether you are or not. Just chat about books with me in the comments. Okay, I'll chat with you all next time. But until then, bye.